Before this video starts, I just want to put on a disclaimer that this video is not to offend anyone since this is just an imagination of what will happen when this happens. So please just sit back, relax, eat some popcorn while watching this. The Byzantine Empire was an empire that dominated the Eastern Mediterranean for over a thousand years. They were one of the bastions of Christianity in the East while the rest were under Islamic empires. But what if they had embraced Islam instead? How would this change the course of history and shape the world we know today? Join us as we delve into this alternate history scenario and examine the potential implications of this religious shift. Though this idea is impossible from the first place because Heraclius declined Muhammad's offer, and also that the Ghassanid dynasty, which was an ally to the Byzantines, have killed the ambassadors of the Prophet wasallam. This caused a controversy between the Muslims and Byzantine. And also because the Byzantine Empire was a whole empire based off Orthodox Christianity, they consider themselves as the chosen people of Christ. High chances the Muslim emperor will be overthrown and the Christian emperor will rise again. Soldiers will not obey the Muslim emperor too. The Byzantine Empire was a highly religious Orthodox Christian empire. It's mostly impossible for them to just leave the religion like that. In 628, Prophet Muhammad sent sent letters to several leaders, including Heraclius, who was emperor at the time. The Byzantine Empire had the Pentarchy system, in which if they accepted Islam, it will fall under control of the religion. Well, that doesn't mean all of the empire will be Muslim. There will be smart parts of Christianity, but yet they won't have any control or power in the situation. That's so because they accepted Islam, there will be no Islamic or Arabic attacks such as from the Ottomans. Another possible situation is that the empire may tear power again into two, dividing to a Christian side and an Islamic side. Things that may be expected are also things such as names and architectures and art. Visiting buildings will look like mosques and masjids rather than churches and cathedrals. Hagia Sophia will be the same in the future and the past since there are no altering situations. Holy buildings dedicated to the saints will be changed into mosques or Islamic holy buildings. Ottoman mosques were heavily influenced by the Byzantine Hagia Sophia, so by that, we can imagine that the Islamic Byzantine mosques may look like it. Here's the picture of Rustam Pasha, which are of the Ottomans, and Hagia Sophia, which were of the Byzantines. Do remember that even though the Ottomans mostly did not attack Constantinople mainly for the religion, but because the Constantinople was the hit place to conquer back then, but the most notable Muslim empire to come opposing the Byzantines. The architecture will mostly stay the same, but it's the mosque instead of a church. And the mosaics will be of Islamic calligraphy for or mosaics rather than saints or biblical icons. Names will be of Islamic names rather than the common saints and biblical names. Basilicus Palaeologus can be something to Abdul Rahman Palaeologus. Big things that will happen in the present time is that Europe will be a Muslim majority continent, doubling the Muslim followers from today to this alternate timeline to the double the number. The world will have 70% of modern world Muslims. Places like East Africa may also be affected by this, and will be a majority Muslim continent too. Since the Orthodox mostly rose in the Byzantine Empire, Russia could be Islamic too when this happens. Wars such as like the Spanish Inquisition will be caused of Islamic reasons rather than Christian reasons. 